guys, it's Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine and Wood Tramp Outdoors. Um, I wanted to be able to share with you uh, some of the knives that we're going to be reviewing here in the very near future, but I wanted to give you a heads up on them. You know, it's uh, close to the holidays, so you might want to put your order in. Hang tight. some fantastic knives uh, that I'm wanting to share with you today from two different companies um, and you know uh, SE everybody's heard of, of SE and the other company is Anza some of you are familiar with Anza uh, he just doesn't have the commercialization and the advertising bucks uh, to put himself you know on the map like he should be but let's just talk about real quick here, and I'm not going to go into detail about these knives. I just want to show some of these to you here so you understand where we're going. This is one from uh, SE, uh, and this is a SE3, uh, and uh, I don't know anything about this steel, but this is a special stainless steel. Uh, it might be an S35EN, um, but I will find out about that uh, whenever we do the, the full review on these. Uh, but... You know, I've had SE knives in my hand before. Uh, we reviewed an SE5 that was serrated. Um, it was it was okay, but it really didn't trip my trigger. I'm not really into the serrated knives, so that, that took it off my radar real quick. Uh, this is not serrated at all. Perfect in the hand. Uh, the scales on this are great. Uh, I believe they are uh, might be G10. Um, but... You know, it's very lightweight knife, but it's, it's beautiful. So that'll be one that we're going to be reviewing. Uh, and this one is also from SE, and this is the SE6. Uh, and i got to tell you, uh, I love this knife. I've had this out several times in the bush, messing around with it. Didn't shoot any videos on it or anything like that because we want to be able to do a full review on the knife. Uh, but if you're looking, if you're into the bigger knives... Which I'm not. I'm really not into that. You've heard me say that. I don't carry a huge knife with me. I would carry this. I've been carrying it. I love it. Um, I'm going to put it in a leather dangler though. Uh, but this will be great. And you know, you want to stay tuned for that video also. Okay. That's from. Those are the two from Essie that we're going to be reviewing. Um, articles will be written on those. And then these knives that I'm going to show you. I, I got to tell you this. Uh, Charlie Davis worked for one of the biggest knife companies uh, in the world uh, for many years. I don't remember how long, at least 30 plus. Um, and um, he was not only uh, one of the uh, chief builders there, but he was a chief designer there. Um, and, you know, I don't know if he'll mind me saying, but it was Buck Knives. He, he used to uh, be with Buck Knives. And a lot of the knives that you see out there and you've grown up with, Charlie Davis was a part of it in some way, shape, or form. And then he went off and made his own company. Um, and they specialize in file knives made out of files. A lot of folks don't know this, but buck knives back in the day, that's how they started out using files as well to make their knives. So without... Uh, further ado, just let me kind of introduce you to this little guy right here, and this knife is called the Kudo, but it is absolutely beautiful, great little uh, patch knife, you could turn this into a neck knife, matter of fact, I think Charlie does have neck knife sheaths that would fit this, but everybody that's seen these set of knives that I'm getting ready to show you have just went crazy for these. These are beautiful. This is the black and silver, I, I believe is what it's what it's called. But it's got a bone handle. Looks like it's got, uh, I don't know if that's walnut. I don't know what that wood is. But then it's got these ring inserts in here. I mean, it's just a beautifully designed knife. So we'll be reviewing that knife. And that Joker's only $88, believe it or not. Love that knife. Uh, next one is a little bit bigger. Uh, and this is... This is called the Bocat, I believe, or Bocati or something like that. Um, super, super pretty knife. Uh, and they're not just, these, these are working man knives. I mean, these are, are made to get out and, and do whatever you need to do. Great for bushcrafting. Either one of these knives are great, 
great for bushcrafting. Uh, they come super sharp. My lord, man. He, these are shaved sharp, my friend. Absolutely. Also, cut your face. There, you know, I just shaved off a bunch of hair off my face. Uh, I love this this knife. It's it's nice. It's $126. All of his knives comes with a, a really nice uh, leather sheath, but uh, what he's done with this, I haven't talked to him about them yet. We just got these in the mail uh, last week, or just this week. Uh, but again, you know, I see this has got Marcarta in the front right here. I don't know what this, if this is bone or, or what. It looks like bone to me. I'm not sure. But like I said, I haven't talked to him to ask him. But, I mean, everything that he makes is, is just superb, you know. Uh, and then, last but not least, is the SWAT. Now, that is, that is a, a great knife. I, I love this knife. We've seen this design before from, from Charlie Davis. Um, and everybody loved this knife. It's got a nice pommel on the back end of it with uh, a lanyard hole on it. I mean, for those of you that are looking for a good mid-size survival-style knife, this is a great knife right here. And I think that retails for like 156 something like that. Well worth the money. I mean, it, it's beautiful. It's got a stacked handle on it, sculpted. You know, a lot of guys are into that these days. But uh, super, super knives, you know, all the way. So make sure that you stay tuned because we're going to be doing full featured videos on all of these knives and they'll end up in the magazine as well in different issues so I know that you guys uh, love the knives so here we are we got it for you here uh, so till next time you guys ride free live free and as always be safe out there and when you subscribe we'll put you in our database and we pull out names every month and give away free gear we even give away knives sometimes so do that till next time we'll see you Thank you.